another new thing I'm going to be doing on this channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a box opening. I currently have a subscription to NerdBlock Classic. I've had this subscription for, oh gosh, over a year, a year, couple years now. Um, I've had Loot Crate the longest and I've got NerdBlock Classic. My wife gets a NerdBlock Horror Block. Um, and my daughter did get the sci-fi block, but she stopped getting that because it wasn't giving her everything that she wanted, so she quit. Um, but this is one of the mini boxes I get, and I got a request from uh, one of my friends to do a box opening video for a nerd block because they don't get these. So here we go. This one is July's box. Um, they were running into some issues, so today is 2 August, just got July's box today. Um, I can't really be mad at them for this because they're not the only ones that have been having issues lately. It's just kind of strange that uh, for the past 2-3 years since I've been getting uh, monthly subscription boxes like Loot Crate and Nerd Block and Bam Box, that I've never had an issue with any of the boxes being late or any issues at all and then all of a sudden since like March April this year every single uh, box monthly box that I get has been late at least once mostly because they were expecting an item from a third party that didn't arrive on time or they got it and it wasn't what they were expecting and it was crap so they had to find something else or whatever um, not sure why nerd block uh, was late this month I think it was another late item so we'll see what's in there uh, another thing that these boxes seem to be doing a lot lately of is wrapping it in this plastic um, I'm okay with that. It just means that people from the post office or wherever can't like open it and look in into it or whatever. So let's get in to the plastic. Open up the box. Let's see what we got. Alright. So just like most other ones, automatically get a t-shirt. Um, the t-shirts are like a hit or miss with all these boxes. Some are good, some are bad. This one, I'm gonna have to... The dark side. That's pretty cool. It's got like the, uh, looks like a Y-Wing. About to get on, you know, in the target there. So, part of the dark side, about to shoot a Y-Wing. That's what I, that's what it looks like anyway. That's pretty cool. I like that shirt. Not bad. And got a Vinny Mates Predator. This is uh, pretty cool. I don't collect Vinny Mates, but I do have a few, mostly from these monthly boxes. But it looks like it's a Nerd Block exclusive, so people who do collect these I have to get it from this box, I believe. It's a mass predator. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, I got a few of these from these guys. I have like a Ghostbusters one and I don't know, a couple others. And then we have a Skynet Neural Net based artificial intelligence Terminator 2 Nerd Block exclusive. I like that. So something from Skynet, um, looks like it's shot glasses, so, got a Skynet shot glass here, pretty cool, I used to collect shot glasses back in the day, every state that I went to I got a shot glass from, and being in the military at the time, a lot of shot glasses and a Terminator, a chrome shot glass. So that's pretty cool, I guess. You like that? Ah. 
And we got a lunch box. Molders chain of custody lunch box. I know that this is a lunch box because my daughter got this in her sci-fi vlog like a year ago and gave it to me because I was a big X-File fan. And now I have two. See, it's just one of those paper, or not paper, but it looks like it's supposed to be paper, but it's just one of those like plain looking lunch box things. That's pretty cool. So if I see that in your your lunch or your refrigerator at work, you wonder what the heck is going on. And of course, like all the other ones, you can, they give out pins. Which is strange because I already have this pin too. You know what? They did send an email out saying that they were going to send uh, some stuff out from previous boxes and some new stuff because they were having so many issues with third parties. So that's why some of this stuff is doubles. Because I've got this pin before. I can't remember if it was one of my boxes or my daughter's box, but look at the back of the future future license plate pin. It's just I don't mind. That's fine. Ooh, An umbrella. I know exactly what this umbrella is too, because my my wife just got this same umbrella um, in her horror block. It is a umbrella from uh, the movie Carrie. That's why I was in the horror block. And if you look, these little dots and stuff right here, they turn bright red when they get wet. So one part of the, the umbrella says carry and it has all these blood splatter stuff on it. And it turns red when it gets wet. I might have to show it here before the end of the video. And Star Trek, the wit and wisdom book. This looks like different sayings from the show, the original series. Too much of anything, Lieutenant, even love, isn't necessarily a good thing. Cook. With the troubles. And I, I don't mind these old books and stuff. They're cool to look at, but I get old after a while, but I have tons of these type of things too. And I believe that is it for this month's box. So, a couple shot glasses, really cool shirt. I like the shirt. Uh, the Vinnie Mates Nerblock Exclusive Predator, not too bad. The lunchbox that I have, and the pin, which I don't mind having too, because I like those. Big X File fan. Now, I have an umbrella like my wife's. I might have to use that at work. People get funny faces and the Star Trek book and the shot glasses. Not too bad. Nerd Block's not too bad. Sometimes they're a lot better than um, Loot Crate. Loot Crate, you know, has been a... They used to be really good when I first started uh, getting them. And then, like the past year, they were, they were hit and miss on that. But, uh... It seems like Nerd Block's been up in their game. And every once in a while they would slack, but... I'd rather have Nerd Block than Loot Crate. If I had to get rid of one, I would keep Nerd Block Classic and get rid of Loot Crate. Um, I should be getting a band box here in a couple days. The good thing about band box, they always have like a, a celebrity autograph. Um, they've been known to have autographs on actual props. And they send out movie props too. And uh, they're a pretty cool company. I've just started them. I've only had like three boxes from them. And I should be getting my fourth one this week. So I'll do a box opening on them too. But here, let me open up this umbrella and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the umbrella opened up. I know it's bad luck to open up an umbrella inside, but it's for a good cause. So you see this carry and the pattern and stuff. But when you get it wet, it starts turning bright red to splash it on there with some water. I don't want to get water everywhere. But you see what it's doing there. It's a little wet. So you imagine if it's a downpour, it says it's spicy as you come in, and then all of a sudden you got like a bloody umbrella and stuff. But that's what that does. The bloody carry umbrella. So that's pretty cool. Not too bad. 
does have a issue opening. It wants to fold up when you open it. Um, and it doesn't want to stay at first. But uh, you just have to work it. And then uh, it opens. Not too bad for free. I mean, well, not free, but you know. With a cool little effect. If you don't care for the cool full effect, it's a nice little extra umbrella to have in your car if you're just in case it rains and you don't have one. But other than that, yeah, it's just cool. Alright, so that's the July Nerd Block Classic box for 2017. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.